What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, we're going to have a look at another Apollo 17 photo, and this one here is really interesting. Now, what I'm going to do is before we show any enhancements, I want to show you that we can pop these lines out without using a burn tool or anything. And are those mountains in the background actually real? Some believe that they are. They'll say, well, here's the thing. I can look at the description and it says, let's say for argument's sake, we'll say this is hill one and this is hill two. My question is, how do we vet any of it? How do we know that these are actually hills and that they're the ones that they're talking about? Because there are, in fact, hills and massifs in the area that they're doing scientific tests. We know that. But how do we know the particular ones that they show in these photos are actually hills or massifs or mountains? Call them what you will. How do we know that? There's no way for us to vet it. We can't go up there and prove or disprove it. However, we can prove it through the photos. So let's just get right into the photo. I want to show you this. This is pretty cool. All right. Again, we're up on the to the moon.ser.asu.edu. Now, this time around, we're going to use this photo right here, AS17-145-22193. And this is the photo you'll see right here when you click on it. Now, I have a couple questions. Firstly, it looks like, and I believe that it is, that this is the camera on the lunar lander, right? And it's looking down at the wheel marks of the lunar buggy, right? What is this stuff in the background? Now, some of it is, in fact, to the right. You can see what it looks like. Equipment. But what is this in the middle right here? This is weird. Check that out. Now, if we pan over to the right, you can see this stuff right here. My question is, why does it look buried? There's something over on this side something right here. What's more important to me is you can see the actual marks from the wheels of the lunar buggy, right? We can see that. They seem to stop right here and then all of a sudden it's just a line. You can see that without any tread at all. Now we know that this was made like a screen, right? Uh, to help travel over the dirt. So why does it stop here? It's not like it's that far away from the lander that they can't see the actual tread marks and yet it stops right there. And the other thing is, I don't know what they did here. It's almost like, you know, when you walk in dirt, it's like you just take a broom and you kind of cover up your footsteps. I mean, that's what it looks like. What is, what's going on there? See that? What is the deal there? And of course, they made it look like it goes over to the back here. And of course, they stop right here. Notice the change in bright and dark of the soil here, right? See that? Right there. Now, let's get right into Photoshop because I want to show you this. This is really, really interesting. All right, here it is right here. We're going to zoom into this. You can see this is how big it was. Blow it up a little bit for you. Now we're going to clear this up a bit right there. Now, folks, I want you to see something right off the bat. If you notice, you can see lines right here, and you might have to use your magnifier to see this. Right here. Now look right underneath this object. You can see that right there. What are these little lines underneath, okay, under here? What is going on underneath this white area or this object right there, right? This object right here just next to the crosshair right there. Now, here's another interesting thing you might want to take note of. We see these crosshairs. Now, obviously, they're done for scientific reasons. Like, it shows the area, how far apart these crosshairs are, and they can tell distance and width and all this other good stuff, right? Now... Why do we have a line drawn around this particular crosshair? You can see that right there. You can see going around. Do you guys see that right there? Check that out. I'm going to take the line back off. Look at it. Use your magnifiers. Now, if we go back to the original, a little harder to see, isn't it? Clear it up. Now, let me show you something else that's interesting about this photo. And I'm going to show you this without using a burn tool, any of that sort. Let's do this. Let's go to image, go to adjustments, and bring it all the way down to equalization. Watch what happens to the mountains here. What is going on here, folks? In addition to that, look at the film edge. What just happened here? Okay, again, this, and then all of a sudden, we've got this. Why does it look like a double exposure? Now, if you go back to the top of this photo, you can see this photo here was somehow... The exposure got messed up or something of that sort. I get that. That makes sense. Why would it do it and bleed it way down here? So I need anybody who's a photographer 
to fill me in on this, this may actually be correct, meaning when you do this. But I find it a little interesting that it does that. Okay? Now, getting back to these lines, what's with the lines over this mountain? All these so-called mountains. I'll tell you what I think, in my opinion, these mountains, and they're not mountains at all, but let's call them mountains, are much higher than what they're showing in this photo. What they did was they manipulated whatever's sitting here, then they put a line to block out anything that's higher than that, okay? In my opinion, I'm not saying I can vet this. Look at this right here, above these mountains. Since when does that kind of thing happen? You see that? Now, what you can do is go like this, go to adjustments, brighten contrast, we're gonna bring up the contrast, and we're gonna bring down the brightness, okay? Now, we'll say okay to that. Let's have a closer look. Again, have a look at the lines right here. Notice the little lines right there below this object, just underneath the white area of that object, right? We can go over to here. Like I said, what is going on with this piece? If this is their instruments, why are they buried? Or appear to be buried, right? And again, these things on this side. If this is their instruments, I don't understand why the photo looks like this. However, I do. Again, here's that line I was showing you, right here. Going right around this crosshair. You can also see it on this side. Going like this, okay? You should not see that, folks. There should not be a line unless they put this crosshair in and went around it to block out what they don't want you to see behind it. And that's what this is all about. Also, take note of the other little piece that's just below that arrow right here. You can see that. Okay? Check that out. Okay? Go back to the original right here. Clear it up, and you can see that. Okay? Go back to the original again. It's right there, folks. I'm not doing anything special to this photo. You can see that. Right there. Notice the other lines here. And you're going to see this stuff all come out of the background, folks. Lines here. Different lines, just random lines coming out of nowhere. Somehow, I don't think this is part of their equipment. And I could very well be wrong on this, but check that thing out. Now, let's start bringing this photo down. What I'm going to show you is a couple things. Once we burn this whole area right here. I'm going to then show you folks on the very bottom of this hill. And then we're going to enhance this other one on the right hand side. Okay. What you'll see is these, some of these lines go from this so-called mountain to the foreground, meaning the base of the so-called hill, massive, call it what you will. Okay. Now let's keep going with it. So we use the equalization. And then we just started to bring some of this stuff out. Let's zoom in a little bit. Notice the lines in the background. You'll start to see them here. Just below this line. Look at what looks like objects sitting right here. And they all seem to be just underneath this mountainous area. Right there. Again, this piece right here. What you can see is like bits and pieces, and they use a texture to block this stuff out. Here. Notice the line. I'm going to underline it right over here. And then we're going to go like this. Check out this outline, folks. Look at these. These are, in fact, in the photo. Okay? So if I do this, bring it back. Again, I can see them. Let's just sharpen it. Makes it a little bit easy to see right here. Look underneath that with a magnifier. You can see these lines are, in fact, there. Okay, I can go back and forth right here. Notice this square piece going across, back down, going like this. Okay, why is it being covered? Because they don't want you to see this stuff. Okay, let's keep going. I brightened it up a little bit just so you guys can see that a little bit better as far as the lines or these areas that they're trying to block out. Check this out. I'm not sure what to make of this. Area right down here. Look at this. 
this whole area, where you can see this white, this is an actual object. See right there? You can see where they blocked it out right here. What all of this texture to make it look like it's dirt right there. Okay. Okay, let's back out. Keep going with it. Now, folks, check this stuff out. Look here in the background underneath this mountain where the ground and mountain meet. Check out the lines that are in this photo. No way, no how is that natural. Just this area alone tells me that this is not a hill. Like these spots here, like this particular square right here and other pieces around it. Check that out. Let's go back. And folks, it's literally right here. I can see this now in the photo without doing anything to it. I'm going to zoom into this area. Look at it right there, and I'm going to go back to it. Go back to the original. Well, it's slightly sharpened up, so this is the original. But again, blur it so you can't see the lines. All we're going to do is sharpen it. Now check that out. Go back and forth. Again, that other object, the big white object on the left, check the lines out to that. You can see this. Pause it anyway, folks. You know that. Check that out. Pretty interesting, right? You can see all of these other lines underneath this edge of this hill. And you can see these whitened areas right here in the photo as well. Watch this. Right there. Right there. You can just see them very faintly, but they are in fact there. Okay. Now, we're going to go with this black and white, and I'm going to show you this. Now, this right hill, or mountain, call it what you will, suddenly has these weird things in it that just don't make any sense. Okay. You can see there's lines and there's weird shapes all over this because this is what they're doing. They're blocking whatever this thing really is. And again, you can see where they basically cut this object right off and separate it from the background. You can see that right here. Okay. Now, back up. Let's keep going with it. Brought up a little lighter. You can see that now. Check this out. Just brought them a little brighter. That's it. It's like, now wait a minute. Why are we seeing these parts right here? They look like they're just under the edge of this other hill right here on the left. Well, let's keep going with it. Hmm. Let's go back over there. And folks, again, look at these little boxes or squares, whatever they may be, just underneath this manipulation. That's right. Right here. And all of these little shapes, designs, lines, call them what you will. They are, in fact, in the photo. I can still see these right here. Right to the top right of this crosshair. See it? I'm going to go back and forth. You can see them. Same thing with the other ones. Right here. And you can see the line right here where it ends and where they drew all of this. You can see that. See it? Go back and forth. You can see where they literally put this manipulation over. Come on, guys. Now, let's back up a little bit. Now, let me show you some other interesting objects. Like down here. Now, I said before... You can see where these wheel marks end, or at least the tread to them, right? And all of a sudden, you don't see any kind of tread pattern further up. Why is that? We're literally just looking down from the lunar lander, right? Now, these parts in the background, check this out. They look like they're doing this. Coming up, going like that, and they look like they have a circle in the face of it, and it's going down like this. This one also looks like it's doing the same. Looks like it might have a hole or two holes right there. See that? 
right there. Here's the other thing. If you look right here, I'll tell you why these are bogus wheel marks. There's an object sitting right here. There's one right here. And here in the back as well. Okay? When we do this, I can bring that thing out as best I can. Now, in the original, what do you see? That's all you see right there. But that's not true. Again, keep an eye on the lower right corner where we have these wheel marks. Suddenly, there's nothing or no wheel marks. Doesn't make sense, folks. But there you go. There's objects sitting right in front. Okay. These are fake lines here as far as I'm concerned. But let's say I'm wrong. They went around a different way because you can see it crosses over from right to left over towards the background. Okay. Move in. Folks, pause it where you want. We'll go from left to right. Notice there's a lot more in this photo. And also keep an eye on the bottom edges of these hills. You can see there's much more in this photo. And they walked up to this stuff and checked it out. And again, let's say for argument's sake, these are, I don't know how it can be, but we may be seeing it at a different angle. This object right here, if it is their scientific instruments, okay, we can go with that. Why do they look like they're buried in this photo? Because they're using a fake texture to block out the area that it's sitting in. In other words, there's probably a bunch of other junk around that instrument and they're trying to take it out. And in the process, they're taking out some of the objects or at least some of the bottom of them anyway, right? And the same thing happens to these on the right. It simply doesn't make sense. But there's objects sitting in this background. There's no doubt in my mind. See that? Let your eyes settle. Suddenly, there's a lot more things in this background, and I believe these hills are structures, and we're seeing the very bottom parts of it, which they try to block out. And the reason why I say these are much larger than what we're seeing is because of these, which looks like a stitch line, or some kind of weird dotted line above these hills, folks. You should not see that. Simple as that, but yet you can. And just to show that again, I'm going to go ahead and show you this. Go down to equalization, and there it is, folks. Look at this. Look at this background. Are there other objects in the back of this? Check this out. What are we seeing here? Pretty interesting. Let's say, for argument's sake, that's normal to see that. This dotted line over these so-called massives or hills or whatever they may be? No, that's not natural. Again, photographers weigh in on this. Here you go, folks. Stop it right here. Look it over with your magnifiers. And I'm going to do the fully enhanced black and white right here. And again, pay attention to the very bottom edge of these hills. Look at the little shapes and everything else in them. Yeah. And there you go, folks. Folks, these photos of the moon remind me of what we're seeing here on Mars, right? When you see these so-called buttes, hills, little mountains, call them what you will on Mars, they do the same exact thing. They're disguising what's really there, and they're putting it like a template over these objects. They put a template, and then they put a texture on them, and they're blocking out what they don't want us to see. It's as simple as that. With that little dotted line over these hills, that tells me whatever those objects are, they're much taller. They brought it way down, so then they can separate the object itself, make it much smaller, and then block out the sky itself. There's your line that's separated into two, and you can see that as plain as day. Folks, drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. I'm always curious as to what you've got to say. Please like and share the video. It is always appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube will share it. Folks, got some more Mars coming up as well as more moons, so stay tuned. Anyway, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.